Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey guys, this is a real quick video. I just want to show you a feature that Recraft launched a few months ago that you might not be aware of yet, okay? Uh, so what I'm going to do here is just going to make a few of these brush stroke designs here. Uh, I have one here already, like an Americana diner, and I took that prompt from the prompt library and I ran it through our prompt variation generator. Okay, and it gave me uh, several more prompts, brushstroke prompts using different themes, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this in Recraft here, a few different versions of this, okay? And let me grab a few here and we'll run these and then I'll show you what it is I wanted to show you in Recraft, okay? And let's do the fairy forest. Let's move this one. Let me zoom out a little. Pop that one in there. Let's pop another one in there. And we'll do one more. Okay, we'll get six of these going. Let me get it set up. Hit my, enter my prompts. Let's grab this one, Modern Boho. And what we're making really doesn't matter. This is more about what we can do in Recraft once we have these done. Oh, let's do Carnival. And let me make sure I have the right model. We're using the High Dream model inside of Recraft for this. And we will just let these generate. Okay, so we have all of these generated. And let's pick the ones we want. I like that one. I like that one. These all look, let me zoom in a little for you. These all look really great to me. Uh, let's check this one out, see if there's something. I think I like this one better. Okay, so you have your designs here. We have six different ones, we like them, and these are the ones we wanna use. Well, I don't know if you know this, but a few months ago, Recraft rolled out bulk operations. So if I select all six of these, you see at the top here, these options, if they show up, they can be used. So I can take all six of these and upscale them at one time, okay? So let's let it do its upscale. See, they're huge now. Let me zoom out even more so that we can see all six of these. Now they are 4,096 pixels. You see that over here on the left? So we can bulk upscale. And let me move that one back over here. And now if we select all of them, we can bulk background remove. So this is a big deal. This is great inside of Recraft. It's just another really awesome feature they have um, you can also you see bulk mock-up you can make mock-ups in here 
uh, for all of these, which is super handy as well. Let's do the background removal and then we'll look at the mod. Okay, and the background has been removed from all of them. It looks fantastic. And now I'm just going to click on mock up. And it is generating. Okay, that was a mistake. I hit the wrong button. We're going to go back on this because we didn't want those images to turn into a mock up. Okay, what we wanted to do was move these over, click off, create a mock up. Woman wearing a white t shirt facing the camera full view okay we want to make our mock-up down here there we go and now so we have that mock-up there we can again i'm just got to zoom out a little we need to duplicate this mock-up but you can do this now right here just drop everything in just wait till it catches there we go make it bigger move it where you want it and there's a mock-up and you can do the same with each one of these all at one time okay it's super simple but i really just wanted to show you the bulk features that you can use in recraft with like your upscale and your background remover so these are great they're good to go you can download them now and um, the only thing you may still have to do let me ex export one of them is uh, convert this to 300 dpi which can be done right through uh, my designs or any other let's check it quick though we might from the size of that, it looks like we might have our 300 DPI. Let's image, image size, nope, 72. But really all you have to do is come in here and change it in Photoshop and it's now 300 DPI. Okay, you can do this in Photoshop, you can do it in uh, Photo-P. Uh, there's several other programs that will convert to 300 DPI for you, but it is done. But I really just wanted to show you the bulk capabilities that you have now in ReCraft. Let me zoom in here a little bit more on this mock-up so you can see how you can just slide them in and put them where you want it just like that and you have mock-ups you can create right inside here after you've used the bulk tools to do a lot of your editing alrighty so that's it it's just a real quick video showing you the bulk tools that you can use inside of recraft so i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you next time